uh, is hot today, really hot, and it's only June, so it's probably just going to get hotter as the sun goes on. Thank you, global warming. Uh, so my parents uh, went away for a couple days. My dad had a, a business trip he had to take, and my mom decided to go with him uh, for, just for a, a few days. Uh, so, yeah, I'm here taking care of the house and the dogs, which, which I, I've done a few times before. Uh, but, uh, while they were gone, I just decided to, to go see a movie in a movie theater instead of watching it on Netflix or Hulu or on TV like I normally do. And, uh, I, I went and saw... The, the movie Inside Out, the, the new Pixar movie. And I have to say, it, it's one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Uh, it, it's, it's really great. Uh, I liked it a lot, and I've heard uh, nothing but good things about it. So, yeah, I would hi highly recommend it. Yeah, it, it's the best Pixar movie since Toy Story 3. And I've seen all the Pixar movies. Uh, well, all except Cars 2, which is uh, the worst Pixar movie. Everyone agrees. Uh, but in, inside out that I think it's one of the best animated films ever made it, it it's that good yeah but anyway I uh, just the movie got me thinking about uh, uh, what's going on in my mind so I I'm sure right now, most people have heard of Inside Out, and they, they know it's about uh, emotions, uh, uh, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust, and their characters in in a, a, a eleven year old girl's brain. So. I, uh, it just made me think of, like, what if they made a movie like this about, uh, a person with autism? Like, what would be going on inside their mind? What would the emotions be like? Because I gotta tell you, um... I sometimes don't know what's going on in, inside my mind. I, some, I sometimes have no clue why I think of the stuff I do or why I do the stuff that I do. Or, or what it's it's really hard to explain especially when uh you don't know exactly what oh uh, actually it um, uh, it's it's really hard to explain especially when i didn't have a, a word
word for it until, like, uh, I think about two years ago when I was diagnosed. So, uh, you know, having the diagnosis helps me explain it a little better and, and learning learning more about autism. Uh, that, that helps too. But, yeah, I was thinking about uh, this for, for a while, just nonstop, because that's what my mind does. When uh, I get something stuck in my head, it stays stuck for a while, and uh, I can't let go of it easily. But anyway, uh, after a lot of thought, I came up with the idea that my mind is probably like that, uh, that relativity painting uh, by M.C. Uh, Escher. Escher? I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but... The painting that has no up or down or side to side, uh, it just doesn't obey the, the laws of gravity or physics. Uh, there, there, there's no top or bottom, bottom, so you could turn it side to side and it would still look like it's right side up, no matter how you turn it. I think that that's the closest thing to uh, how my mind would be pictured on film or in a painting or photograph whatever i will just keep i can't even start talking about it i don't know where to begin kind of like the painting you don't know where to begin but uh let me see um i'll just get uh i'll just think about something and uh kind of go all over the place with it in in my mind i'll just think about it in many ways many different ways uh, some of them logical, some of them illogical ways, uh, and then and so sometimes I'll like start at one place, then it will lead me to another place, and then to another, and then to another, and then I'll forget what I was talking about in the beginning, so I'll kind of have to go backwards and retrace my thoughts to, to get back to what I was actually talk, or actually thinking about. And, you know, sometimes I just can't do it. Like, I'll, I'll uh, just forget the, the step, steps I took to get to what I'm thinking about. And I've, I've also found that uh, if I write out what I'm thinking, I'll forget about it. And if I don't write about it, then it will, my mind will just keep playing it over and over again. Maybe I'll forget about it or I'll start thinking about something else. So I've, I've started writing it down just to get all these dots out of my head and, and also uh, doing these videos. I think, I think they've also helped. So, like, I have uh, some, some notebooks that have all sorts of uh, uh, stuff I've written down that I've thought of. Uh, so, some are like for some some uh, are uh, movie ideas I had or ideas for TV shows that 
that maybe that maybe I could do or or some are just like scenes that I think of that I'll create uh, characters in and and they'll they'll have lines of dialogue and they'll they'll uh, and that 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 will play out in in my head and so I've actually just wrote down these scenes. Uh, which uh, now I've actually started to go back and read some of the stuff I've written, and uh, some of it just doesn't make sense or or uh, or seems stupid now. Uh, and sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting because, uh, like, I'll. Uh, awake in the middle of the night, or or I'll try to go be, or I'll be trying to go to sleep, but but my brain won't shut off, so I'll uh, just roll over and and write what I'm thinking uh, in hope that it will quiet my brain so I can sleep, <coughs> and uh, I I don't know what's gonna come about of these dots or or what I'll what I'll do with my notebooks but but um you never know when they could come in handy. I was sorry I will see yeah, yeah, I'm talking I was talking about inside out. I almost did it right there, I almost forgot why I started this video but I guess it was just to tell you that Inside Out is a fantastic movie, and I'm glad I saw it, <laughs> and and I highly recommend it. I guess that's all. So uh, until next video.